All right, just waiting for the uh, family to load up into the car. Um, today we're headed to Keyport, New Jersey. We're gonna hit up a little fishery spot. Uh, Keyport's a little coastal town in New Jersey. Is it coastal? I don't know, in the bay, whatever. And they have a nice little local spot where they serve fresh seafood um, made to order. It's only a takeout spot, no place to sit, but it's right by the water so you can just park and enjoy your food there which is what we're gonna do today I am starving so this is gonna be my actual first meal for today and it is 2 43 in the afternoon no breakfast no nothing um, I enjoy these type of meals because I fast and sometimes fasting is worth it but yeah we'll see you guys down there Oh, by the way, we also got to stop and get cash because this place is cash only. Uh, they have an ATM available in the restaurant, but if you want to avoid the fees and such, just stop, get cash before you go. Well, here they come. We'll see you guys down there. All right, we're here at Keyport Fishery. And about to pick up some food. Actually got a lot of food to pick up. A lot of things we want to try today, but here's the spot. That makes good content right there. Good job, dude. I can. All right, so we just got our food and found a place to park right by the water. Let me show you guys. Even though it's a takeout spot, there's plenty of places to eat um, with this waterfront park right here. So just park the car and enjoy. Right now, we're gonna get into the food. First thing we gotta do though is sanitize. Let's see what we got here first. All right, first thing we got here is the lobster sandwich. It's uh, smaller than I expected, but this was highly recommended to me by one of my uh, uh, friends and coworkers. He said to give this a try and I wouldn't be disappointed. But I'm hungry and I don't know if that's gonna fill me up. So we're gonna give that a try. All right now let's see, let's try out this lobster sandwich. It's a lobster tail sandwich, looks like it's deep fried on a, like a potato bun okay so no sauce or anything so it's all straight up lobster and you got the fries crinkle cup fries pretty good nice crisp to it lobster tail sandwich mmm very good Oh, that's very good. You definitely taste the, the lobster. I'm a big regular boiled steamed lobster guy. But having this tail deep fried, definitely different. And very tasty. I don't know what kind of batter they use. Probably the same batter they use for the um, seafood. That lobster sandwich is very good. A bit pricey for what it is. I think it was like 14 bucks for that, but it's lobster, so can't really complain. We also got a couple of platters. We got scallops, shrimp, uh, crab cakes, soups, and uh, we'll be going through each and every single one of those. All right, let's take a look at the soup. This one's gotta be the crab soup. Louisiana crab soup, I think it's called. Ooh, mm, that smells good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to tilt it so I don't spill it, but very hearty, a lot of vegetables. But oh, there's the pieces of crab right there. See all that? We're gonna give that a try real quick. Oh, that's good. It's a lot of crab flavor in that broth. Kind of like a minestrone almost, like a very tomato-based soup. 
but we're very good. Mm. Just wanted to try it right now because I want to get into the platters, but this soup is definitely, definitely something you want to try, especially if you like crab. Mm, very good, very good. Now we're gonna move on to the platters, which is my personal favorite. Oh, nope. This, well, yeah, it's a platter, but it's the crab cakes. It's actually my first time trying their crab cakes, so we're gonna see how this uh, goes. But they look pretty good. Get you a closer look real quick. Got coleslaw, tartar sauce. There's a, two crab cakes. And your quick hook up fries. This, I believe, was 14 bucks as well. But that is a lot of food if you can see. It's probably a regular 10 inch plate. All right, so let's go give the uh, crab cakes a try. Nice and crisp. Oh, look at that breading. The sun is so bright, you barely see it. Mmm. 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 That is very good. That is very good. I didn't even squeeze the lemon on there and it's pretty good. Very light, very flaky. It's not heavy tasting at all, being that it's deep fried. But very, very good. Kind of hard to eat because uh, now it's falling apart. Probably should use a fork. And ta-da! Got a fork. Yes. Okay. There you go. I don't know if this will help with the lighting. Probably not. Crab cakes. Definitely, definitely give that a try. I'm not disappointed at all. Actually. I'm kind of glad I got this. This one's very good. Look at all the, I don't know if you guys can see that. Put that focus in there. All that delicate crab meat. All right, very good. And last but not least, actually not last but not least, but we're gonna try what I, really came here for this is what i come here for my personal favorite there it is boom scallops and shrimp first things first we're gonna start with the scallops look at the size of those More like mini like about the size of chicken nugget popcorn shrimp or what are these called popcorn chicken but these are nice sized scallops for what you got. Mmm. Mm hmm. That is good. That's fresh. Nice and light. Bite right through that. It's, ah, uh, just falls apart. It's awesome. Here's a shrimp. You guys know what fried shrimp looks like, but. Mm. Nothing beats, nothing beats fresh seafood. Nothing. Like this place is about 20 minutes, half hour, depending on traffic away. But it's worth the drive. And I forgot, I didn't squeeze lemon on any of this stuff. Didn't need it. It'll probably take it to another level, but it was good without it. Get on that scalp some more. Oh man, 
I should have just got a straight up scallop tray. I might go back and get another tray with just scallops. Seriously, because, ah, oh, that is so good. One more thing on the uh, menu here is we got the New England clam chowder, which I can tell you right now, I've had it already in the past and it's very good. Probably one of the best clam chowders. Oh, that was close. That was close. Probably one of the best clam chowders I've ever had. The only thing that I would say that would set this off even more is if they gave you like a sourdough bowl to put it in, that would be unbelievable. But look at the creaminess of the soup. There's the bits of clam right there. Let's give that a try. Oh man, that winter time, this is, this is it right here. Nah, I'm not gonna eat too much of this because it's my daughter's, but it's very good. Family's been pretty good. They've been pretty quiet, so I can film this. So I'm gonna end this part right here and we're gonna go ahead and finish up this food before you know it gets cold. But let me know if there's anything else in the New Jersey, the area, yeah, I'll travel. Let me know what you guys want to see and uh, we'll make it happen. All right, I'm hungry, bye.